Welcome back to the Slightly Better Volume channel. I'm Amalgamash, and this is Town of Night. We just got done defeating an assassin, and we climbed out of this well. Uh, there was a waterfall down there, and a ladder, but I guess the ladder became a rope. Anyways, we're, there is no longer any danger of us dying due to death, so we're going to stay at the inn, which is not going to be that way. And maybe buy some new weaponry. I have to figure out what to do next. I'm actually not sure. Oh, I have a mansion key. That's what I got. So I think that they meant for this one to be unlocked. Yep, because I was not able to come in here before. Is this a dungeon already? Maybe. Oh, wow. Maybe. Is this, is this how it is to be? We go straight from one dungeon to the next? It is. We went straight into the second dungeon. Oh my god. That is interesting. Let's just do some... Okay. So they're, I mean, moderately strong. Ooh, she got acid breath? I'm not actually interested in being here yet. I would like to get a, a little bit more in the way of gear. But I do know that if I really needed to grind for experience, that's a good place to do it now. So, if I wanted to grind, or not grind, if I wanted to purchase better weaponry. Oh yeah, the Mon Paw store is right here. We need better armor. That's just a, that's just a fact. We do need better armor. You're telling me that with that purchase, I've maxed out all of my stuff. And this stupid leather robe is somehow better than chainmail. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. See, his physical defense would go down if I put the chainmail on. That's not how this is supposed to work. I can tell you that much. But that's okay. Poison dagger. Poison dagger. She shouldn't get the poison dagger. She should get the poison dagger. She can't equip the poison dagger. Oh my god. What kind of archetypes were used for these characters? She should get the poison dagger because she has a... She's, she's the debuffer. She should get the Sage Rod, which, thank goodness, she can. She can actually supplement and the Leather Gloves. Now I'm feeling better about this whole arrangement. I feel pretty good now. Mm, yeah, other than putting the Leather Gloves on Charlotte Shelby, which I don't really want to do, I feel like there's no more improvements that can be made. We will now sell all of our crap. We have a much better party. Not exponentially better, more like a linear better, but that's exactly what we wanted, right? That's what we wanted. That's what we got. Let's go into the Brewski Hall, otherwise known as the Public House, and see if anybody will have any other dialogue. Hmm. I wonder if that will permanently increase any of my attributes. Not worried about it. Not worried about it. He needs a bag of bones. Oh! There's my warrior. Why couldn't I see her before? Oh my god. It's literally because she was hidden behind this wall. Will you join? So how does that work? She... how do I... How does that work? You've given me a fifth party member. But that event cannot go. I don't know who to put back, I've grown attached to everybody. Plus she would be level one. Mmm... Mmm, mmm, mmm. We've wasted enough time. Into the mansion we go. I'll have to think about it. I'll have to think about what I want to do. Oop, there's lots of pots in here though. So. That one's got nothing. Oh. Okay. It sent me through the doors. 
Oh, we've got some goblins. By the way, they are reprinting Hero Quest. That's cool, huh? I think it is. I'm ecstatic. I backed that tier. I backed the Mythic tier so that I could have the reprint of Hero Quest and the reprint of the two expansions that uh, released in the US back in the 80s or 90s, early 90s. I think it was late 80s. I think it was late 80s that all that stuff came out. If you want to check that out, just go search for Hero Quest. Actually look for Hasbro, Hasbro Pulse, and you will find a link to a place where you can back the project. It's already met its its uh, goals. It's going to go into production. November 6th, I think, at the latest. Hey, there are more pots. There are monsters. There's a monster. It's been a while since I have played a commercial, like retail, role-playing game, uh, JRPG style anyway, all the way through. I usually select them, I'm very, very picky, and once I pick one to play through, I stick with it until I've completely finished it and I don't play anything else until I have finished that game. And the last one I think I played was Dragon Quest XI. And I'm trying to think, other than MMOs, which I'm, I'm always constantly on a never-ending quest to, to finish Final Fantasy XIV, or at least get up to the current x pack. I'm not even at the current x pack. Um, besides that, just checking out a couple of other MMOs and Routine, whoa, whoa, this person's keeping bats in cages. Routinely trying out other MMOs and deciding whether or not they're worth my time. Mm. Do we have assassins in pots here? I don't really. Uh, I don't play them as frequently as I want. Oh, there was actually not an assassin inside that dang treasure chest. Uh, that said, I have a few JRPGs that I want to play. Uh, big, big, sprawling, full-scale, 60-hour ones. Oh, the assassin is now a regular enemy. That's just great. Can I use acid? It deals damage to all enemies, finally. Finally, we can deal damage to all the enemies. But why would I care? Ooh, Ice Storm, Fire Storm, Tsunami. Was Quake? No, Quake was just one enemy. So dumb. Let's use Fire Storm just to see what that's like. Mass Resistance? Finally, Mass Cure Poison? Finally. That kind of terrifies me because it's like, why are the skills so specific? specifically powerful. That means I'm gonna have to use them. That's not gonna be fun. Oh. Oh, I'm very strong, apparently. I'm just very strong now, never mind. Uh, so yeah, I haven't started any of these JRPGs in earnest yet, but I did want to kind of mention what I really liked about Dragon Quest XI and what kind of spoiled me with it is uh, the fact that you can see the enemy encounters before you run into the enemy and that, I mean that's been done for decades I'm sure that there are even games on the NES that allow you to avoid enemy encounters I might be wrong about that I'm not sure uh, when, when speaking specifically about JRPGs uh, but I, I know the concept has been around a long long time so Dragon Quest XI is definitely not the only game I've played that has that feature but I really appreciated being able to not fight enemies if I didn't feel like it and just run by them. It made it all the more frustrating whenever I allowed myself to get caught by an enemy though, because I'm like, no, I, I don't want to fight you. I'm too weak. I haven't healed. But I really, really enjoyed that game. It was a lot of fun and it wasn't too grindy. 
We have nothing. A swift axe. I don't think any of us can use the axes. I think that that is a... I think that's for the fighter. Am I wrong? I think it's for the fighter. Oops. You can't use it. You can't use it. You kind of I need a healer so she doesn't suck, and like my sorceress chick is pretty cool. I don't know, man. I think I might trade in Charlotte Shelby. And if I didn't check this pot, I'll check it. Okay. Now we're gonna make a break for it. Who put that column in the middle of the room? Ah. The encounter rate for this game is kind of high, but it's not. It's not unbearable, because it's not too grindy. I just wish that I could avoid the enemies beforehand if I wanted to, because I feel like I'm too powerful and I don't want to bother trying to run away from them. Because I don't want them to get the free attacks in, you know. I will always be a fan of the running away from enemies before they have a chance to fight you, because it just doesn't make much sense to me that you can walk around in a dungeon and just randomly bump in to an enemy. Nothing in those pots. Let's go. I'm just about... Ooh. Oh, God. That... There's a big dragon in the cage over there. There's a big dragon in the cage over there. There's lots of chests and things like that. Ten gold. Big whoop. Twenty gold. Big whoop. Come on. Nothing in the dresser. Ah. Overstepped and ran into four orcs. Four goblins. I'm also kind of hesitant to switch over to the new party member because it's like, if I do, they're going to be level 1. But I guess I could bring them to the first dungeon. Oh god, these guys are kind of strong now. I'm lucky Sashi's rather quick. I wish I could have a fifth party member though. That's just it. I wish I could have a fifth person. I know this engine is not... It's not suited for that, but... I think the difficulty goes up by room, because I think the mobs in the first dungeon were markedly tougher between rooms, but I think that the second room had all the mob encounters of the first in the first dungeon, and I think the third room had all the mob encounters of the first and second. Stop attacking me. Or, you know, hurry up and die, good lord. Okay. Dang. That's a lot of experience, though. Uh-oh. There's a note. Oh, we're not gonna read it right now? Huh? There's something in the dresser. It looks like someone wrote something. Okay. That doesn't help me any. Ah! That doesn't help me any. That doesn't help me any. You know what it does help me do? End the episode here. Thank you very much for watching, and let me know what you thought in the comments below. I would appreciate any feedback at all from, Hey bud, your camera is too dark to, hey, your audio editing skills suck, and I'm really tired of hearing your voice. You forgot to edit out your voice. Just to, uh, hey, how come you haven't played this game yet? All that stuff is valid. I'd, I'd love to hear any of it, honestly. I'm not going to get confrontational in the comments, believe me. Anyways, I hope you were educated in some way or entertained in any way at all, and uh, maybe inspired to make something equally as good, perhaps better, better than this. I will see you in the next video, so until then, bye-bye.